guys, I am back finally with a new video, and yeah, Theotropolis, finally, after like two games, two, two sessions of DTA, and one done to Mifflin. Well, guess what, that is three weeks that I have not recorded this uh, state, and a, a few things have happened since you last saw this. Um... I'm actually helping my friend finally with this house after like six months ish. I'm finally helping him with this house, and this is what the design that he's come up with. And he decided to have a back porch. He also decided to like do land, well, terrain, terraforming, and he's pretty decent at it. To be honest, I don't really admire how he uses one box. Because typically I use like three blocks, but it is a compact space. It's not like the mall of Louisiana where you get like a ramp. So yeah, um, you know what's weird? As we speak, my brother is also recording the video. That's kind of strange because we, we typically don't record at the same time. Okay, so this is his house right here. I'm helping him with it, obviously, with the interior. He said that he wanted me to do his interior. Pretty much, and this is what I have. I think I might make this like a little office room. And then this could be. Um, I don't know, I haven't came up with any of this yet. Upstairs is just incomplete. Like, just incomplete. And I don't know if he's gonna have a downstairs because I think there is a pretty decent. What's this? He is having a downstairs. Based on what I see here, he is having a downstairs. I didn't even see this part, to be honest. I didn't see it at all. Wait, I know. This is actually for the actual house. Because this looks like... It does look like a wall, but I don't think it is. Depending on what he does next. After that, we have a lot more progress on the interstate. Um, interstate 2, which is over here by the Mall of Louisiana. We actually have an exit now. Officially has a, have an exit. And it's a strange exit because the target was in the way. Because e so that means everything, that the one side that would be on this side is actually on this side. So yeah, look at it. We actually have an exit for the Mall of Louisiana. I, yeah, I call it, this is actually a city over here, well, it's own little, um, unincorporated city called Chateau Estates, and this is what we have, Chateau Estates, the Atropos International Airport, and Mall of Louisiana, next right, which is this right here, this would link up to everything all over here. So if you're down the interstate, this is where the big surprise comes in. Well, I was talking about this in the last episode. In the beginning, I was like, it's a neighborhood. I said community. I think I said community. But it's a neighborhood to itself, and it's called Savannah Ridge. It's a real-life neighborhood in my very own state. And it's it all, that's what that next exit is going to link up to. Oakland Heights, Savannah Ridge, and the St. Louis Cathedral. Which is going to be down the interstate a lot more. Like, way down here. And that just links up to Oakland Heights, where my house is in Minecraft. And Savannah Ridge. Which I'm going to show you guys in a second. I'm going to fly down there and have like, a big reveal. So you guys are going to see that in a second. I am almost there. I'm approaching. I'm approaching it. And the road actually changes to concrete. So you guys will be seeing that in a second. It's like down here. It's a it's pretty decent. I think it adds variety. See how it changes to concrete. I think it adds variety to the neighborhood. So here it is right here. Bam. So yeah, we have diff the different variety houses. I think it's, this is, I believe this is more, kind of like more suburban than, suburban than my house. Like these houses are nice, 
but it just doesn't have that real life variety suburban like feel. But these do because it's like an actual street and actual houses and people on this on on Theotopus can actually get these houses. You can get this house, this house, this house, this house, this house, and it just continues. Like it just it loops around this way. So, but I didn't bother doing that because I don't know how I felt about that. I think I'm just gonna like have it go up here and then like just have it turn right here. Normally it would just like after this mailbox right here it would just it would just do this and like have a short eh, all these houses would have like shorter driveways but I didn't know what I thought about that it depends on what I still like consider this house driveway is normal size and that house and that house but it's these two that have different size because the street would like start turning right here that's why these gardens and like the houses are pushed back a lot that is how it is in real life, and I can't change that. It's, it's this right here. It's the little neighborhood. This is actually... I'm... This is actually a neighborhood. I was going to give it, like, an actual... Like, the city that the neighborhood is in name. But I feel like that would just invade. Like, that would be more invading. But, so that just... That's just better to just have that. It would be more invading to the entire city. I have to give it a name. I can't just give it a random name. So, um, let's see. Is there anything else that's in here, Chocolate? Oh, okay. Well, we had the debate here. You saw about, you most likely saw about a press briefing video that I had a, um, that we had a debate here and also it gets more interesting. I don't know if I gave it away in the video, but, yeah. We want Duncan, 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 Duncan. I don't know what this means. And we also, it was like, it adds more variety to the city. That's why I did that. And because of these people, protesters, I had to add in capital security. And now there is also uh, metal detectors. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's literally 7.30 in the morning, and I didn't get any sleep. And I'm trying to be more enthusiastic, if that's the right word. So I added in metal detectors and the Atropolis security because of the protesters. I don't want them bringing bombs into the Capitol, which I realized I needed to tighten up on. We also had a debate in the Atropolis, the third debate, which you guys saw about a press briefing. Uh, Konos, I want you to start typing as soon as you hear, start writing as soon as you hear this question. As Vice President, what would be your opinion on unfair decisions? And I'm not talking about corruption, I'm talking about unfair decisions. It's not corruption! Unfair decisions. Like, how would you write them? Uh, yes, Kono, start writing, bud. Okay. You heard the question. My policy on unfair decisions would be, I will help revise the decisions, and, um, help the person who made the decision help revise it to make it more fair for the people, because nothing can truly be 100% fair. They're always going to slightly favor one side or another. That's just how life is. But is if true. there's no way to possibly make it so that only slightly favoring one side or the other. Um, I'll just overrule the decision and say it never happened and make that policy. You will. Uh, the vice president and I would. Can't forget that. Okay. Same question goes to you, awesome dude. Can you please say the question again? How, as vice president, how would you write or... Uh, what I say about like uh, hurtful unfair or wrong, decisions. unfair decisions. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So the way I would deal with unfair decisions is I would try to, to the best of my ability, to work with that individual person that was wrongly mistreated, respectively. Uh, I would try to revise the, the 
issue and bring it up to the president and I would try to talk to the person and help him with the issue because you can't like what Avery said you can't have like completely fair decisions it's either one side likes it or like one side doesn't like it but we can try to even it off with both people okay our next question goes with the what goes with the Department of Defense? As you guys oh. have, as you guys know, uh, Wild has become our Secretary of Defense. Okay. He's not been sworn in yet, so thank God he hasn't ruined anything yet. <laughs> uh, clearly, yeah. So he is our Secretary of Defense. How, if our country was threatened, how, how would you want to break the news to Wild that? Uh, President MC and I, as the Vice President, have voted, along with Congress, to go to war. How would you tell him that, but without exciting him? Okay. <laughs> um, I think what we... Like, keep him under control. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, this question and, um, say, tell his assistant. Because does he have, if you want does to he have anything assistant? about going to war with another no, person, no. So basically, you'll be telling a brick wall. It will excite him. There's no way to not excite him. He will be too happy. He will go crazy. It's just a okay. fact. I've known one. Long Let's hope Hawkins if we don't go to war, then, huh? Might have yeah. A more state <laughs> yeah. I vote no war. For all but peace. I know wild, and that is how you do it. You don't. You don't, you don't try not to make him happy. There's no way not to. <laughs> okay. Indeed. Oh, uh, awesome. How would you do that? So the way I would do it is, you know, it's the government that we're on, we don't like to lie and hide things. So I would think we would just have a formal conference and, like, tell him then, like, just bring up the topic uh, and let's see what he thinks about it. Formal. You, you know that... Awesome, dude, awesome, dude, let me tell you something. That won't work. Let, let me tell you something. Wild is anything but formal. You've seen well, him yeah, in our well, he <laughs> Awesome dude, you can try. Wild's a special Tanner, special there's no wall. Of insane. Well, yeah, MC, can't you agree? Wild's a special breed of crazy. Yeah, he's a psychopath. Yeah. Not as crazy as my, uh, as... But I believe in second and chances in general. So maybe we sh can try that. <laughs> Many chances. If, if you catch him when he's on a good day, chill. He's got good internet. Every day. Good internet. <laughs> First of all, problems. No, no his, he has he, he has Verizon internet and it's <laughs> cool, so if he's on a good internet day, he's chill. He took his beds. We're going to war with somebody. Yeah, I know, that's Tanner. The, that's the day you tell him we're at war. Yeah, but you guys said his assistant. True. His, let his assistant handle it. Does he have Tanner. an assistant? That's the Can problem. you hear the party? His assistant is himself. Let him handle it himself. Two thousand years later. Right, so, our third question is about foreign trips to other worlds, cities, countries, whatever. I'll be going on many of these trying to convince more countries to join our union. And I would like my vice president to tag along. Um, how would you help influence these? How would you help influence these countries or cities to become states and join Ding. the United States of Minecraft? Ding. All right, awesome, dude. You have it. Okay. So the way I would do this is I would tell them about the positive things that happen on in the Cross Empire. Like we all interact with each other and we help each other and pot, we learn how to build a lot more. Stop right there. Stop right there, please. Um, listen, you can privately use the term Cross Empire, but here is just the U.S., please. Okay, the U.S. Sorry about that. Thank you. Uh, United States. I, I, I understand that you have a habit calling it the Cross Empire. Um, be happy I still have the Cross Empire flags. I'm taking them out of retirement. Run down. What? Okay, I wasn't finished.
Uh, please continue. Okay, I would um, immediately put them on the website of the U.S. and I would tell them about the positive things that are going on inside of the U.S. I would, we would all as a nation help them like learn how to build and interact with each other more. That's it. Tell them about what's going on and the good features about in about the U.S. Okay, thank you very much, Austin. Awesome. Uh, uh, Avery, like same say, question goes to you. First thing I would like to say is I would make a lot of these trips considering I am really on practically 24-7 as I have no life and I would just tell them about the safety shield that comes with during the USM. By safety shield I mean if you are attacked or grieved we will the state military will hunt down the griefer and grief the him. griefer as our safety shield I will convince them of all the great possibilities during a Plus protection. You can make a bunch new, more new friends. We interact a lot together, like these elections. We elect our vice president. We have lawmaking, congressional meetings. We have capital cities. We have states. It's just, it's a good place to be, and it's a safe place. We have very few. We have a little bit of. We have practically no corruption at all. Place is very, very safe. Uh, very nice place to live in. Okay. Uh, thank you, Konos. Uh, if, if you want me to reread the question, please send me a message. Uh, unless I already had a message sent. Okay, uh, uh mine boss, who is the winner? Hmm. I am. Yeah. Are you serious? Put the gun away. Get out of the building right now. <laughs> Leave. I w I was Leave. just pointing. Leave. You shot an arrow. You shot multiple arrows. You shot three that arrows. That did nothing. All right, can we please continue with our last question? Each debate will consist of four questions. Save time and so we can do other things. All right, this one will re will revolt terrorism at home. Not with another country, but at home. By at home, you mean. All right, here is the question. Every now and then, the city, the country does get griefed by unknown people. How would you do so called so quote unquote background checks on uh, new people that come into ding. Uh, that come into any city? Uh, ding 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 ding. Uh, okay, ding. fine. Yo yo yo. Whoever whoever. Uh, he's been answering. I want to answer. You answered. You answered also. You also answered. My turn. Shut up. Let Avery answer. Okay, and in Monday's debate, Awesome mentioned something about fighting terrorism by ask Awesome or Reno mentioned something about fighting terrorism by asking the people's friends and seeing if they're known griefer, going through their friends list, looking through their screenshots. I would like to base my opinion off my. Opinion I didn't say that. that. By looking through their friends list, um, talking to their friends, seeing how well they grieve, checking. See if they're trustworthy, then checking those friends' friends to see if they're trustworthy, and so on, until we well, truly believe they're trustworthy, and we don't get grief. And if we, um, and let's see. I'll only give people building privileges and certain privileges based on their job in the city and their big, important role. The thing is, if we get griefed, I will personally help rebuild anything that got damaged. Background checks are a necessary vital part to help make the make the place a safer place that will also allow for newer states to join the union. Awesome dude. The mic. Okay. So I would first 
I would let them on my world, but I would not give them privileges unless they help with you. And based on their performance to save more efit to be more efficient and save time, I would check their friends like their references and see if they can like prove us that they are good friends by like if they're friends of my friend, then most likely I will let them like have permission to do things. But if I don't know them, I would have to look on their friends list and like check for references and their quality and like their ratings. Like you know how it says bad player, good player, avoid this player. That's what I would look for. Welcome dude, mine I say ratings on this are not good. The rating system is full of corruption and people just getting mad <laughs> Corrupt. and discovering the ratings and people who got and since the ratings was really useful on 360 people would just i i myself got downrated many times before i even ever started cussing for trash talk when all i did was talk in a party while my friends were playing minecraft i was playing call of duty depends on depends on your um why your why your ratings are so low it's like uber like, would you get in a car that has one star? Would a driver that has one star? You might die. But you would get in a car that has four stars. So that, just like, trust. Cars? What, what are you talking Uber. about? Uber. Uber. Have you, ever, have you ever heard of Uber? What? How did we get from this? Oh. Ratings. You. All right, you here wouldn't... we go. Uh, here is what Kono said. If I become president, vice president, I'll do my best to give the people the right of speech, justice, and happiness. With the permission of the fellow state governors, we'll make sure the citizens' safety and education by building schools, hospital, police, fire departments, and many more might not have a voice myself, but the voice of the people matters the most for me. Dot, 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 dot. A little bit more dots. So that is what Konos has said. Very motivational, if you ask me. Very good, Konos. All I right. would give you a thumbs up, but my character is physically impossible to do that. You can yeah, do I... this. <laughs> Look at this. It just looks like There's I'm two quirking. guys punch in the air. <laughs> Maybe you're quirking. I'm standing up punching something. All right. Thank you very much, Konos. Um, that is the end of our second <laughs> debate. First of so, all, thank you all for coming. Yeah, same. I want to say thank you guys for joining us in Theotropolis, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks. Uh, yes, thank you for letting us use your capital. Uh, thanks for letting us use the stage. Uh, podiums. Oh, it's a beautiful city. Uh, uh, I hope you guys come on and check it out. Uh, awesome dudes put a lot of work into this. And our next... Are you serious? <laughs> Stop. You always got that weirdo. He's, he's starting to act like Flinty. Flinty, if you're, watch if you're watching this, you know what's happening. Anyway, Who's starting to act uh, like Flinty? Who was Flinty? Uh, my boss. He's twerking in my face. <laughs> okay, professional, professional. I've got guys, I okay, would like to we, find out on who Flinty was because I'm getting mixed emotions. The MC seems to hate him with the signs all over his offices. The old Capitol scene. Make him seem like he was, like he was your favorite person. He put that. Okay, um... <laughs> Now, before we keep going about this whole Flinty business, um, I just want to say the next debate will be held two to three days. Don't know. Uh, eventually. Not decided in Chihayo. Okay. Then after that, that it will Chico be in is Nebula. On at all. Um, yes. If okay, thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for attending us. Goodbye. We had Avery, Konos, and me in the debate, and the debate is for Vice President. As you saw by the sign right here.
And we actually had a full on debate in here. It was pretty decent. I had my security by my side. And we had MC, the president, as a moderator. So I believe he was like the Anderson Cooper of, of this debate. Anderson Cooper is a, what does he do? I think he's on CNN. I don't know, but he does one of them. See, so yeah, we had a debate in here. We had, like, the sponsors and stuff, the people that were voting for me, and all kinds of stuff. So thank you guys. That's pretty much it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Now, I know it's like a 10-minute video, but it's... I had to do something. Can't just, like, not upload. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.